How's it going, guys? You're here for another one. Um, we are headed back for fishing. We fish from daylight to 10. It's like 9.48 right now. Just got the kayak loaded up and then route back to the house. Um, today, I didn't do my homework before I went fishing. Good example on why you should do your homework before you go fishing. I didn't check to see what the winds were doing. I didn't even check to see what the tide was doing, which I kind of know what the tide was doing because I've been fishing every day. But I did not check the wind. So when I drove all the way across town to my spot, the wind was in my face. Real bad. So I normally, like yesterday, would turn and go to a different spot to where the wind was in my favor. I'm a kayak fisherman wind's a big deal. Wind's a big deal in general, especially in a kayak. So, my plan was to pull the kayak way down these dock lines and then drift them with the current and the wind. I did exactly that. I flipped uh, mirror deans. Uh, I did some live bait. Um, it was hard to find bait because of the chop. Couldn't see very well. Okay. Couldn't see in the water really well. We've had a lot of rain. These winds are going to continue, which is why I went ahead and just fished it because there's no telling the wind's going to be here. We got tropical storms out there and it's blowing in all kinds of wind and showers. So if you fish every day, you're going to have to deal with some crappy conditions here and there. It's not always going to be perfect out there. And me, in the crappy conditions, a lot of the time, I won't. it won't really be a numbers day, but I'll be able to generally produce one or two good fish, it seems like. Normally on the day that it's a little chopped, the wind might be in my face or something. It seems to generally be decent days for me. I don't know why. Like Me and my cousin have went before and been throwing little rain minnows, I call them, glass minnows. I've heard a couple other names, but been throwing rain minnows and uh only being able to throw them like 10 feet because the wind is beating us in the face and hell we catch 12 good slot redfish you know days like that are awesome but they don't always happen and it can be beautiful glass calm bait everywhere and you still get skunk Today is the first day I've been skunked in a while. I at least normally pull up one or two trout or a decent red every time I go fishing. At least one or two. Seriously. Not being cocky or bragging. That's generally what happens. Today, that didn't happen. And I'm tempted on the way home to stop over in North Bay to see if I can't produce some. Because, like I said, it's only 10. I don't know when the feeding times were today. I didn't check on anything today. And that's probably why I got skunked. I didn't know what to expect when I got down there. So, that being said, guys, do your homework. Prime example is me. Didn't do it, didn't catch a fish. Know your tides, know your winds. All right, I'm out.